I'm very encouraged by Senator Sweeney's bill. Um, I think, once again, he's taken a very courageous step to come forward and to try to lead his party in a way that's responsible for the taxpayers. Um, there are some minor differences between my proposal and his. Our staffs are talking as we speak about how we might resolve some of those differences. But in the end, this is an enormous step forward, much better than anything that's been put forward by the legislature by a mile. And um, I, I thank Senator Sweeney for his willingness to step up and do what he believes is right. Now, I think he and I will be able to find areas of compromise to be able to get this move to move forward. I'm confident we'll get strong Republican support for this bill or maybe with a couple of minor changes. Um, and hopefully it'll find success in the assembly as well. I think with Senator Sweeney's sponsorship now, um, we can be assured of success in the Senate um, because I know Senator Kane feels strongly about this concept as well. Uh, and then we're just going to have to go to work in the assembly to get it done. In essence, we've gotten to the core of something that, um, you know, I can be very encouraged about. And, uh, and I'll find ways that, uh, things that I'll give on for my conditional veto um, to try to meet Senator Sweeney halfway. He has made a major step forward. He deserves great credit for it. Um, and I'm very grateful for it. I think it's another example of how he and I are working together to try to bring bipartisan agreement to issues in the state. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for the step he's taken in, in sponsoring that bill. And uh, he and I, as we always have done over the last two years, will have our staffs work together to clear out any of the smaller issues. But I think it is appropriate for you to say that any remaining issues between me and Senator Sweeney on this issue are minor ones that can be worked out.